All right, hey, so this is going to be your module 12 uh, lecture video. So uh, basically we did not finish module 12 last week because we spent a lot of the time just going over the different parts of the brain and all the different components that make us us. Um, but part of module 12 is also about something called brain plasticity. So we're going to spend a little bit of time thinking about that today. Um, as we stressed last week, and as you should have kind of understood by the end of the lesson, the brain is incredible. Um, it is so complex. And even though other parts of our body, like our heart or our lungs, help us survive, um, the brain is really the thing that makes us us. It makes humans this evolved species that we are. And the brain is not only, not only can it do a million different things, it also has this incredible ability to rebuild itself and adapt over time. So that's what we're gonna be talking about while we finish up module 12. So just to show you really quickly, um, so you should also have the assignment open. There's two quick notes. There's a video with some questions and then part two is kind of the summative for module 12. Then you'll move on to 13 and it's just this one page there. So I'm gonna go into present mode. So what is brain plasticity? Brain, so you see probably the word plastic in there, and you may not think of plastic as being something that's um, able to like change because in, usually when we see plastic, it's hard, but plastic is something that you can mold, something that you can you know melt and change into a different shape. And that's what we mean by brain plasticity. So what this is, is it's the brain's ability to change and adapt as a result of experience. So something happens and our brain has to respond to this and it's able to do that, which is incredible again. It is something that not all parts of the body can do. Um, so when does this happen? So as I kind of said, it happens in response to things. So brain plasticity can occur mostly in two instances. First, it just happens during normal brain development. Um, our brain, it, it grows, it matures over time and certain parts um, change and adapt. So um, this happens during normal brain development when the immature brain first begins to process sensory information. So this is happening, especially as we're very, very young, as we're infants and young children, we are going through so much development. And that's why a lot of times you hear that, like, it's important, like, it's important to make sure that you, you raise your children, right, or that they are getting a lot of opportunities to learn. Um, and that development's happening in a good way because our brain isn't as adaptable as we get older, even though it is um, development and uh, plasticity is it's easier to mold a kid's brain um, than it is an adult's brain um, for, and maybe you've heard this, but I feel like I always heard that um, like learning a language is a lot harder when you get older, just because our brain is, it's, it's more adapted over time. It's more developed then. And when you're younger, you're still developing and you can create more of these neural connections over time. So it's really moldable or really plastic during our younger years. But also the brain can adapt and change and kind of rebuild itself after serious damage, um, typically earlier in life. Um, so a lot, you're not going to see somebody maybe you know, going through horrible brain damage in their 60s and then being able to come back from that really quickly. But serious, um, serious damage early in life doesn't always have to be something that is life changing. Um, it can really, kids can come back from things so much more than an adult can. And that's actually what this video is going to be about. So um, you're going to watch this video about this young girl. Um, her name is Jody. the story of her. And it's about how she went through some serious brain trauma and how she was able to adapt and go about living a more normal life than you would probably think she would be able to. So you're going to watch this video um, about that story. And again, as you're doing that, you're going to answer these questions. So it's going to ask you, how did Jody change? Um, what type of damage did she have? How could the removal of the right hemisphere affect her? So spoiler, um, she actually is half of her brain is removed and she survives. Um, and then how did brain plasticity occur? So how did the brain change? 
the last part before you go into module 13 um, is you're going to read an article that is pretty similar actually, but it's a little bit more about um, how um, hemispherectomies, which is taking out half the brain, how it is different for children and how it's different for adults. So you're going to read the article and then there's a few questions that you're going to answer. Um, and that is it for module for the last part of module, module 12. Pretty easy um, and mostly just kind of cool information. So that's it. And then you'll move on to module 13.